Hallmark Original Pictures presents an instant family classic, Summers with My Slow Brother, starring a cast of people who make you say, oh, because you didn't think they were still acting. For example, Grant Show. Oh. Rachel Lee Cook. Oh. David Faustino. Oh. And Robin... T I'll get the scissors and cut that poop off your bum. Meg, trust me, you ace these SATs, you could go on to do anything. You could be a doctor, an architect. Hell, you could even coach the Mighty Ducks. Oh, right. The championship is on the line. It's time for a formation they're not expecting. The Flying V? No. The Stinky V. Nation's moral standards. God, give it up, Patty. I'm just saying. Find someone really smart to take the SAT for you in exchange for money. Did someone say Jewish? Oh, hey, Neil. Listen, is there any chance you'd be willing to take the SAT for me this weekend? Sorry, Meg, I'm swamped. I'm taking my body into the shop. We now return to another Michael Jordan underwear commercial on a plane for some reason. Does your underwear have tags? Uh, what? Uh, Mr. Jordan, you're gonna have to take your seat and stop asking people about their underwear. Oh, hey, Brian. I was just thinking about you. You know how I've always loved your novel, Fast. And there's something for everyone on Amazon. In fact, you're so smart. I thought you'd be the perfect person to maybe take the SAT for me. What? But that would be wrong. Well, I suppose you may look at it that way. But a wise book won't... Hurry! I don't much like your tone. That's a tiny pencil and pad citation for you. Okay, Brian, you can do this. Hey, Meg. Hi, Meg. Hey, how's it going? For troop advantage to outflank them in the West. Uh, what did that baby just say? All right, cell phones away, eyes on your own paper, and before we start, who's giving me a ride home? Not you, a girl. For luck, Meg. <coughs> We're all rooting for you. Ha <laughs> Brian's stupid! I must alert the townsfolk. Yeah! Fly, Artemis, fly! Our townsfolk, Brian, uh... He, oh, damn, what was it, Brian? Brian goes to college. No. Brian gets another book published. Idiot. That's not true. Methinks the Hoff protest a month. Do you even know what you're trying to say? Now, look, don't feel bad, Brian. It's fun being stupid. You don't got to worry about nothing, you don't got to read books, and you never die. Peter, uh, that's not correct. How would you know, stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, SAT. Man, this is the worst day of my life. Oh my god! Yeah, see, people go to NASCAR hoping for a crash? Well, this is all crashes. But that guy could have been hurt. Why are you laughing? This is funny. What do you think you're better than me? I want a hot dog. Well, then you better move quick. He's reloading. <laughs> Yeah! Free flying meat! Hey, you feel good about yourself, Jagoff? Yeah, that's right. I knocked your kid over to get a hot dog. What do you think you're better than me? What, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? Ah, look at you, Brian. Come from where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton I do. Come check it out, man. It's amazeballs. This is just the DVD menu. Oh, no way. Oh, man, I am buzzing hardcore off of that chaw, man. Brian, what the deuce? Ah, ha, 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 deuce like poo. Yes, yes, deuce like poo. But what the devil has happened to you? Uh, I woke up, Kimasabi. No, I mean it. And I just, I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her? Ryan, the good news is we've stopped the bleeding, and we've removed the matchbox car that was lodged in your rectum. Brain tumor? How is that possible?
As a father in a hospital getting bad news, I am going to sadly slide down the wall and take my hat off. I forgot the hat. So, Doc, um, how much Jamba Juice do I have to drink to cure this? And he'll be back to his old self in no time. But I say we get that tumor out of him right away before he gets any dumber. No way, I'm never going back to my old self. I rock like this. I'm legit. I'm uber. I'm awesome sauce. Either take the tumor out of him or put one in me. I can't stand this. So if Brian doesn't have the surgery, will he be all right? I don't know. Is Dax Shepard all right? Stop being nice. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, this isn't the Kenny Chesney concert. No, I'm afraid that was a white lie to get you here, Brian. This is the opera. I'm hoping that re-exposing you to high culture will remind you of the joys of a refined mind. Swing! 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 That was from Wayne's World. That's the sound of Wayne's boner. Okay, before you say anything, no, this is not the Kenny Chesney concert. We're here to have a nice, civilized dinner and to show you that you don't have to eat all your meals in your car. Brian, to the dumb side. So now, I need you to be Brian. Here's your collar, and here's a laptop. Write something bad. It was the last day of summer and the first day of the rest of her life. Wow, you did that with your face! Hey, what's this? Gaylord practice? That had a car in a garage and it's all foggy in there. Wanna go pretend we're in London? Oh, totally. Shrimp on the barbie, huh? Eh? <laughs> yes. Good Lord. If I don't do something, his stupidity will kill him. And then I'd lose Brian forever. Like that dog the Russians shot into space. Now remember, it's England, so take long, deep breaths. Wait a second. I've been approaching this far too intelligently. He's an idiot, so this won't be hard at all. Hey, Brian, you want to go see Dr. Hartman and get that procedure where you get two wieners? Whoa, hell yeah! That way when I watch Black Swan, I can aim one at Natalie Portman. I missed you, buddy. Welcome back. Thanks, Stewie. You never gave up on me. You knew that wasn't really me. Yeah, well, it's no big. I mean, I was having fun, making new friends, getting laid all the time, sleeping like a rock. But you made the call. You unilaterally decided I was better off a bitter alcoholic failure who can only hang out with a baby. Oh, this is a big moment for Stewie. Big moment? Come on, Lois. He's moving from the green room to the purple room. And just last month, we had to come here when he went into the green room from the yellow room. Oh, don't remind me. I'm going to start crying all over again. I told work he was getting dialysis. Which means there's a father of three in Nebraska who now has a very little chance of receiving one within the next 24 hours. So feel good about that. Now, who wanted the brain? <laughs> And when Alex... Sure, you've got a great look. Here's my number. Give me a call if you're interested. Wow, me being a model. I mean, I guess crazier things have happened. <laughs> we now return to Rocky Dennis the Menace. Your mama has cancer, and it's made me incredibly horny. Take care. You know, Brian, I gave some thought to what you said the other day, and I realized you're right. Moving to the Purple Room is not an achievement. Stewie, what are you doing here? I asked Peter to read my manuscript, and he said he had to take you to dialysis. What are you gonna buy with that $50? Purses and rouge! Sorry to use your bathroom so much. I'm just really nervous. You have nothing to be nervous about. This is gonna be fun. Okay, well, here goes. Are they all of my feet? Well, Meg, the thing is, my name's Evan, by the way, a lot of people will pay good money for pictures of sexy feet. Foot fetish porn sites are a huge business. But when you asked me to model, I thought you meant real modeling. This is real modeling, and you could be our next big star. Really? I don't know. Come on, it could be great. Together. You think 20 years just happens? No, it does not. Now tell us fast about your nonsense so I can plow your mother on the staircase. Yeah, what kind of photo shoot was it? Did they take a picture of you eating a whole pizza pie next to an astonished chef? 
Actually, Evan thinks I'm a natural and that I'm going to be a huge success. Certainly better than that retreat we went on with the Quahog Baptist Choir. Why don't we show our visitors how we sing what we see, y'all? Sing what we see. Sing what we see. Brother Roscoe, what do you see? Oh, I see Howard Johnson's billboard. Sing what you see. Uh -huh. An old red barn that needs a paint job. Sing what you see. You got 35,000 views in one night, and none of them got past the fourth picture. What does that mean? Oh. They love you, and look at these comments. Who is this? She's beautiful. A bunch of anti-Muslim stuff. Great feet. You're a hit, Meg. Wow, that's... That's amazing. It's not often that anyone says anything nice about any part of Hey, that's just a regular unattractive guy who's not famous. We did it, Grandpa. What are you doing? It's 18 and older, Bright. Bring it, use it once, then put it back in the trunk for the rest of your life. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, this is already hurting my hip. We could probably just stand. No, no, we got the blanket. All right, let's try sideways on the elbow. Uh, ow! No, that hurts. Scratchy blanket. Okay. All right, let's try sitting on my knees. Okay, that's good. Uh, no. Uh, uh, lean back, and you're pushing all up on that fanny. Whoa, Stewie. Yeah, yeah, whoa. Who's this Stewie, huh? Yeah, I'll tell you who this Stewie is. This is day drinking Stewie. On the patrol for fannies. Fanny! Yeah, fanny! What are you looking at? All right, finish the chapter. What? Oh my God! Peter, our little girl is doing pornography. We gotta stop her. What the hell? There's an animated version of you and me doing it. Who put that on there? Ryan, Stewie, hey, how's it going, man? Uh, I don't know. Four different bands said we've been a great crowd, so you tell me. Yeah, I've had a pretty good day too. People. Is that what you really thought? I did. I really did. Meg, we know you've been doing foot porn, and that is going to stop right now. Please, don't try to act like you guys care. Oh, thank God. Peter! Meg, we do care, and we're just trying to protect you. Are you kidding? All you've done is make fun of anybody. Peter, we gotta do something. Our daughter just left for some sleazy foot porn party. I feel like we're getting invited to less stuff nowadays. We gotta find out where that party is and get Meg out of there. Yeah, you're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. <coughs> yep, down the hatch. Now, Stewie, would you like your food served to you as an airplane or a magic bus? <laughs> You two are so cool and funny. Oh, uh, Brian especially. Did you happen to read his tweet about jumbo sh- Ah, you're in big trouble, Boppo. We told you to take a dive in the third round, and you just kept popping back up. Let him have it, boys. <coughs> He's pretty tough, boss. I'll handle this. <coughs> Whoa, Boppo, take it easy there, pal. We, 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 we was just playing with you. Okay, you can have those. You just gave away the store, mister. You guys ready? Cause I am. Ah! What's happening? <gasps> is, is this... is this foreplay? She's dead. It's a five! A five! <laughs> Oh, hey guys, what's going on? Quackmire, we need your help finding Meg. I would love if you guys would just call first. She's run off to some foot fetish porn park. All right, come on, Stewie, let's get this over with. What a slow down, Brian. Everyone deserves a proper burial. Why do you think we've been saving that VCR box in the basement? Oh, fine. Um, Cassandra, I'm sorry your life was so screwed up that you almost had a three-way with a dog and a baby, but your life... All right, you guys, before we begin, let's sing the Japanese national anthem. Everybody, stop what you're doing! Yeah, or else we'll... <laughs> that one's wearing goggles. Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? I'll tell you what we're doing here. We're protecting our little girl from a lot of guys who I hardly recognize from Best Buy. What's up, a robbery? Good luck.
Well, Brian, thanks for going on that little adventure with me, but I think I've learned quite enough from the real world for now. Well, I guess you're ready for the purple room after all, huh? Yes. In fact, today was my first day. I saw that teacher at the concert with her boob out. <laughs>